Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 2 of Europa Universalis 4 as Castile. We're in a war with Granada and also uh, Tunis. Uh, I've just realised I've, I've still got the option on to automatically raise my maintenance, so it's turned both of my forts on, which I don't really need. So let's go ahead and turn those off. That will save us a little bit more money. Uh, we can detach uh, some more troops from that stack to take even less attrition. That would be nice. We do have a wall breach which is going to be very good for us. Let's go ahead and put our leader in this group. And we'll try and get you on the ship and land you over so we can do some damage to Tunis. And like I said, we won't really be able to take anything from them um, because we can't core anything yet, which is a bit of a pain. Um, tempted to leave these guys here just to, uh, to try and um, aid in this siege because we are blockading. We do have 100... Uh, 100% blockade. That is going to help. Uh, but as soon as we have uh, got the fort to fall, we'll use them as an escort for the transports. Uh, we could do with a few more trans... In fact, we can do with a few more transports. Let's go ahead and get three more transports here. They should build relative... Well, they're not going to build relatively quickly. They're going to take a year, but we'll, we'll build them up anyway. You can go slightly over your naval force limit. It is nowhere near as um, damaging as going over your military force limit or your land force limit in terms of the uh, the costs the maintenance costs so we can afford to go over um we are at a seven percent chance i mean we could get really lucky i don't usually in this game it's usually quite the opposite got a water shortage though so that's put us up to a 28 percent chance uh, let's keep our eye on france because we are still trying to get an alliance here um, we are, we're at war, so of course they're not going to agree while we're at war, but we'll keep the guy there just um, keeping the relationship uh, completely topped off. Let's go in and uh, we could call Portugal to arms if we wanted to, but I really don't think we need to. Let's go ahead and just keep um, sucking up to them. We'll try and cap off their, our relationship uh, with Portugal. Like I said, at some point we may well end up taking something from them. Uh, also, what we're probably going to want to do as well, let's bring back the spy from um, Granada because he's not really serving any purpose. Let's go over here and start building a spy network on Morocco so we can go and attack down there later on as well. Okay, we've got this done now, so we don't need the ships here anymore. Let's get you protecting the transports. You guys are going to get onto the transports. Hopefully, it's going to take the group that has the leader with it. And it hasn't. Oh, no, it has. Sometimes it's a little bit weird about the way it does that. Let's get over here into uh, this province, though. Or into this sea zone, I should say. Uh, I'm not going to try and land straight on their capital. That would be stupid. And uh, let's go ahead and just drop you, again, wrong button, 50-50 chance, and I was bound to get it wrong, because I always do. Those are the lights, those are the transports. Right click, sir. There we go. So let's drop you down there. We will go back and pick up the, uh, the others. You guys can group together. So yeah, we'll pick up the other three so we've got a full stack, and then we'll just start marching out and attacking them. They've got a few ships. I'm not overly concerned by them. Um, I'm a little bit concerned, but not overly concerned. Let's go ahead and pick these other three up. Um, so you guys get on the boats. And what we can do now is we can literally just land the transports here. Uh, because we've got control of the province. And then we can go and put the transports somewhere safe. So let's group you up, move you over. Go and put the transports somewhere safe out of harm's way. We could go ahead and ship over the other 14k stack. I really don't think we're going to need to. I am going to split the... Oh, no. I was just about to say I am going to split these stacks up a little bit just to, to carpet siege a little bit more. But I don't think that's a good idea as they're heading towards us. Um, lose 73 ducats or minus 10% trade efficiency and tax modifier for 10 years. I think we'll just take the hit of 73 ducats. So when I split my group up, they, they did look like they were going to try and come in towards me, which is not surprising, uh, really. Yeah, so as soon as I go and do that, they want to try and attack me. Let's go back and, and engage them. They are locked. We are the defender as well. So there we go. We have managed to reinforce. That worked out quite nicely. They've got the terrain penalty, and we won that battle. Excellent. So let's go ahead and... Um, 
sort of try and block them in. We're going to uh, reach their forts soon. So, of course, we do have to be careful. They are going to retreat all the way down here, though. So that does give us a, a, a few moments of respite. Uh, we could go ahead and split these groups up even more, but I'm not terribly convinced that that is a good idea. Uh, you're not sieging a fort out, so let's just go ahead and... Uh, can you honestly... Oh, it's Wasteland. Of course it is. So let's go ahead and move you into there. Now, we are losing some money, but we're reinforcing, so that's not really a surprise. So uh, we do need to work on these forts, to be fair. Let's, uh, we can't get to that, so we have to go and start sieging out Kef anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, they may bring their soldiers back. I fully expect them to once they've recovered. In fact, I can't see them now. They may be going around. I don't know if they've got any transports. They're their transports. Two lights, four galleys. And what have they got down here? Two lights. Um, no, oh, five lights and two galleys. Oh, no, I was totally watching uh, the wrong screen there. I was too busy looking at the ships. I didn't see that they were uh, attacking me. That was so dumb. So, so dumb. Can't believe I made that mistake. Uh, and we're probably not going to win that battle either. Throwing in there without a uh, leader was probably a, a terrible, terrible idea. Okay, in that case, let's go ahead and bring the other 14 stack across. We may as well. Make sure we do this correctly. Uh, that Granada does have some ships down there, actually, which is pretty impressive. Okay, so we, we took an unfortunate bashing there. Uh, let's go and try and reinforce this as quickly as possible. So we'll get you guys over here. That's, uh, this is one of the reasons why I don't normally play on Speed 3. Because the amount of times where I will be uh, essentially watching um, something happen... And, uh, yeah, it, it, right, let's, let's actually dock you, oh no, we, we'll, we'll dock you straight here, actually, because we are the defender. So, now they've just gone straight into our entire group. So, we should win that battle. There we go. Let's go and group up. Um, let us, let us consolidate, because we have a bit of a, a weak army over here. Let's go and march back and get into Kef. And um, let's go and start trying to build up a few more men. So let's go ahead and get some infantry. Like so. You guys can get on the transports. And we'll go and drop you off. It's only two more men. It's not that useful, but every little bit helps. So we're going to sit in Kef now. Uh, did we stack wipe them? I'm not sure if we did or we didn't. Let's go and use you to sort of grab these uh, other provinces that we missed. Let's go and take our transports back safely. So yeah, Granada have got a few ships down there. We can't really do anything about those because I'm sort of blockading over here. So we'll leave them there for the time being. Uh, our Queen Consort has died. Yeah, they're rebuilding their army, so it looks like we've probably got a stack wipe. That's fine. So let's um, let's go ahead and take you down there. We'll siege that out. Hopefully this siege won't take too long. Uh, again, we don't really want an awful lot, if anything, from these guys. All we really want to do is um, maybe take some money from them. I'm guessing it's not possible to vassalize them. They're probably too big. Uh, yeah, be 170%. So we can't get them as a vassal. They are rebuilding their army. So definitely need to keep our eye on that. We should be okay as long as I don't make the same mistake again and, and essentially let them uh, just run into me because I wasn't watching what I was doing. So that should be fine. So we've got some more um, infantry up here. Let's go ahead and put them together. Let's group you up. And yes, we are taking attrition, but it makes uh, sense to stay here with the numbers. Uh, I'm not sure we'll be able to march down here even after taking Kef, because Tunis will probably be blocking us. Uh, oh, Tunis doesn't actually have a fort. So we might be okay with that one. We might be able to get our, uh, make our way down there. So hopefully we will get a wall breach here or something. And we've got a disease outbreak, because of course, why would we get anything else? Uh, so you guys are all mer merging up together nicely. So what have we got over here? This army is a uh, has one cavalry uh, too many, but we'll we'll build three cavalry for this army. Then bearing in mind we know we've got a spare one over there, and we'll go up to uh, to ten infantry, and that should 
get us sort of back up towards the uh, the proper numbers that we had before. Very, very short on manpower now, so I'm really, really keen to get this war over and done with quickly. Uh, I just want to be able to piece them out. Lose 102 ducats to gain some mercantilism. That puts us into debt, and we're now into territory of having to take loans, but mercantilism is really going to serve us. Any option you get to take mercantilism, you probably should. Um, yeah, so we've taken a loan, but we expected that to happen anyway. Uh, we're at 7% here, so you can see somewhere on here, if we look at our, um, where is it? Somewhere it tells you your siege ability used to be in here. Is it there? Used to be a modifier based on your spy network, but I can't see it anymore. Oh, it must be just there, our siege ability, plus 1.4%. But there is definitely some sort of uh, siege bonus for having um, uh, for having a spy network. And of course, the quicker we get out of this war, the quicker we can possibly get uh, an alliance with France, which would be useful. Oh, it's not these guys that I'm building on, is it? It's Morocco, of course, not Tunis. It's these guys that I'm working on. Because I'm trying to get claims on this stuff over here. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and grab a claim. So they've got a 9 stack. They might be out of manpower, to be honest. We're at 35% here. We're still taking some attrition, which is quite nasty. Another disease outbreak, which is also nasty. Uh, Papal state's opinion of us changed by minus 100. Or we can get 16 noble regiments rise up in Kunenka. Well, neither of those are good. Um, let's go ahead and move you over there. I'm assuming we can probably have at least one more military leader. Yeah, we can have two. So let's go ahead and get you one. He's okay. Pretty good. Uh, and we'll have the um, the noble regiments uh, rise up. They are a slightly bigger army. Uh, but we've got a decent leader and we've got better base morale. So we should win that if we stop rolling zeros against nines. There we go. And just to make things even worse, our ruler dies at the same time. And our new ruler is a zero, zero, zero. Have you ever seen a ruler who is more terrible? Um... Our stability is negative, so let's go ahead. Let's put it up to at least plus one. Um, I, don't, I don't like being at negative stability, but being at zero is just as bad. I seem to remember the first time that I played EU4, because like I said at the, uh, the beginning of video one, um, Castile was the uh, tutorial uh, nation. So the first game I ever played was as Castile. And I seem to remember, like, constantly, every few minutes, I was getting uh, events that dropped my stability. So like, all I was spending uh, admin points on that entire campaign was boosting stability. You're going to try and go around me, aren't you? But that's fine. Like, you can go around me all you want, because these provinces aren't really worth anything. So if you want to go over there and start trying to unseed something, that's fine. We're just going to sit here and hopefully get this siege. And we have got this siege. Now we can chase them down. They're going to get stuck. They're not going to be able to get out of here. We're going to march in straight on top of them. We've got the numbers. We can probably force them to peace out at this point. But we might as well go and give their army a kicking. Of course, we are out of manpower, which is not good. Right, let's go ahead and move over here. We'll go in and take their capital. We'll separate piece them out. Try and take a load of money and war reparations and something like that. Uh, and then we will um, peace out Granada and take some land from them. So we'll detach a siege here. We'll move you down into Tunis. We'll be forcing their ships out. So we, we may get into some ship battles here. We've just taken a uh, uh, an attrition tick there. So unfortunately we don't have enough men to complete that siege. But that should be fine. We are blockading. You reinforced yet? No, you're still taking attrition. Let's go ahead and pull off uh, one more infantry. Move you back over there. 
And then that should be enough to get that taken. Negative 35%. I mean, I could probably piece them out now anyway, but having their capital fall will make life so much easier for us. Uh, looks like our spy has been detected over in um, Monaco. Morocco even, not Monaco. Um, so that's fine. Well, let's say Monaco. Monaco's over here in France somewhere. Um, so let's go... At, right, you're trying to sneak by me again. Let's wait until they're locked, and they are. Let us leave behind one, like, tiny little regiment. Because that tiny little regiment will keep uh, keep the siege status. And then we go in there and engage them again. Uh, they do have the terrain penalty. Um, they are rolling eights to our zeros, but somehow we still won. So that is good. Let's go back over there and see if we can finish this off. We've already got 95% war score. So I'm very tempted at this point just to be done with it and peace out. Um, so let's go and have a look. Uh, we don't have any free diplomats. You've been discovered, so you might as well come back. Uh, you've topped off with Portugal, so you might as well come back. Right, before they actually get around to attacking me, let's try and sue for peace. Um, apparently, we could... Are you telling me we can call this stuff? Do I really want this stuff, is, is the question. How much money can you give me? 109 ducats. That's not insignificant. And you could give me, um, we could split them up, actually. Give me war reparations. Split off a little one province nation, which isn't all that useful. Uh, let's go ahead, then, and take a couple of provinces. Well, let's take a province here. At least having a province will mean we've got a staging ground to attack over here later on. So we'll go ahead and do that. They should accept that demand. Excellent. Now, you guys are all black flagged, but you can get back over there and get rid of that. Um, we've got 100% war score against Granada. So as soon as... Well, we do have a free diplomat. So let's go over here. Uh, we want to take all three of these from you and any money you may have, uh, which could well be a lot. 203 ducats. Send diplomat. Okay. Excellent. Fantastic. Um... So that's done. That's done. Our mission is completed. Uh, gain a one skill Inquisitor. Um, but that gives... Uh, oh, the religion in our area changes to Catholic. So it gives us local unrest and reduced tax and manpower. Or we can get a free stability. Catholicism loses some reform desire. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off that fort. So these are the wrong religion. We will have to change them. But before that, we need to call them. So, yeah, apparently we can call that one uh, down here. And it's quite expensive as well. It's 13 development, which is not bad at all. Uh, so, let's take our ships. Um, our heavies, you want to go and dock up. We'll dock, you, we'll dock the heavies up in Granada. And then uh, you have uh, another ship somewhere that I think was trying to meet up with you. Or maybe not. Same ships are on the way to join, but I'm not convinced. You are going to protect trade in uh, Safi. And you should also probably repair if slightly damaged. Um, I think we will still use you guys to hunt pirates, actually. Uh, let's hunt pirates in Safi with you anyway. Uh, personal union on Monarch Death. Um, so we're at risk of being joined in a per uh, as a partner in a personal union. Um, between Aragon and England. So who do we have that royal marriage with? Um, royal marriage with Navarra and Portugal. I'm not too sure how on earth that works out, but okay. Um, we still need to get another relationship. France, will you accept an alliance? You will not. Um, our army strength is low. And why have you lost opinion? Oh, some aggressive expansion. Well, that, that will go away. Oh, we don't. We no longer have a royal marriage with France. There we go. Let's go ahead and get that back. That'll help. Um, and we need to build up our army. That's one of the reasons why we are... Uh... Well, we can actually leave you down there. We might get rebels, so that's not a bad idea. Uh, all of the forts are currently off. We need a new mission. Spain must be Christian. Manpower reserves need to recover. Yeah, Christian we can do. We'll use our missionaries uh, as soon as we've finished coring. So corruption is growing because we've got some overextension. That's perfectly normal. 
Um, we have a free advisor slot. We are making some money. It's not a huge amount. But we could go ahead and get the cheap military guy. And as we're not really... Uh, ah, reduce local unrest. Uh, we have a new heir. Uh, in the last video... Uh, the last person I added was Bobby, uh, but because I sort of rage quit the campaign, I'm just going to add Bobby again because he didn't really get a chance to, to do anything. Uh, luckily, we do now have um, an heir, so we don't have to worry about that uh, uh, personal union firing off, which is a good thing. Uh, we would like some manpower. How much are we short? 6,000-ish. Uh, can we go and... Uh, we've got a looming disaster here. Uh, which one is this one? The Castilian Civil War. Um, one of the following must be true. Currently in a disaster. Is lesser part of a personal union or does not have the government monarchy? Uh, what is our government? We are a kingdom. Which is a feudal monarchy. It's weird. Um, why is that? firing then what's actually causing that to to grow because our ruler has ruled for less than 60 months and he has a lower skill than 222 it's because of our crappy ruler that's it can we kill off our ruler because if we can that'd be great um can only abdicate if your heir is at least 15 years old yeah we've got a problem here we could make our ruler into a uh, leader and just try and get him killed by fighting people. That That is a possibility. Um, but yeah, that disaster is probably going to fire one way or another. Uh, we do need to rebuild our armies. You are a 10-5. You have one too many cav there. Uh, let's go ahead and pick one of those cav up so we can try and balance these um, stacks out a little bit more. So you're going to get on the ships, and the ship's going to drop you off over there. So I'll just let that happen, because if I don't, I'll completely forget that I was supposed to be doing it. So let's go and join you guys up. What's our force limit now? Has it gone up any? Yeah, it has. So we can actually have some bigger stacks, and that might get France to uh, like us enough. 10% uh, local unrest. Uh, we'll just take some local uh, autonomy. That'll be fine. It'll burn off eventually anyway. But I'm going to end the video here because we've got over the 20 minute mark. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as Castile. I'll see you in the next video and until then, goodbye for now.